Hey friends, Miss Susie back again and we are on our third lesson in Lent. We did skip last week because we had music with Miss Beth, uh, but it is our third, um, our fourth Sunday of Lent, our third lesson. But I wanted to see how we were doing with our daily challenge guide. Um, we had a couple weeks past. I was wondering if you had some fun because you can enjoy doing these things as well. As we take on the things that Jesus did, um, we'll find more and more joy uh, in doing what Jesus wants us to do. So um, we, we had a time to eat dinner with the family and share the highs and the lows of the day, the good things that happen and maybe not so good. Um, we can donate some change to the church. You can certainly drop that by the church. Um, we were going to help the environment a little, and instead of going in a car, ride our bikes. So as our weather warms up, that's a fun thing to do. Oh, and Miss Susie does love this last one here on that day. Sing a song about God. We can sing Jesus Loves Me. Um, we can sing any of those songs we hear on the radio about God. And then um, we also were, already, are, like I said, heading into week four. And look at this. Just to enjoy time with your family, play a game. Now, isn't that fun? That's something fun to do. But that helps us appreciate our family and spend time with our family. Um, we're simply waiting our turn. Let, we're letting someone go before us. We could send cards to people in assisted living homes and nursing homes. So these are all ways we're going to be more like Jesus and walk in his ways. Remember, that's why all the shoes are on our challenge log. Because we all want to walk his ways are in our different shoes, walking with Jesus. Well, today's parable, remember that word, parable, the stories that Jesus taught to teach us a lesson? It's going to be found in the book of the Bible called Luke. And I know in my head out there, my friends are going, oh, Gospels, Gospels. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. So the third book of the New Testament. And I am in Luke, and I'm in Luke big number 14, little number 12. And this is a story, um, Jesus uses a, a feast or a dinner. And what Jesus wants us uh, to know from this story, and he tells us, is that, you know, you don't need to invite just all the people you know. What Jesus wants us to do is include all those people that maybe don't have food to eat or a place to stay, or maybe we don't even know them that well. He wants... The feast is representative of the kingdom of heaven, and all are welcome. All want, are to be included. But then he goes on to tell a story about a gentleman that was going to have a special dinner and invited all these people, and they all started making excuses. And that got him upset. And then he goes, go out and invite the poor. Invite anyone out there to come and have this dinner with me. Because Jesus was reminding us we need to take care of all those people other people out there be good neighbors to all those other people and um only those folks that's who's going to get to taste a wonderful dinner in heaven so my youth friends they have a fun little skit they put together for us that helps tell this story maybe in a little different way i'm gonna pull this up here of course my computer decided to go to sleep did you ever have your computer go to sleep so let me get our story here and see how our youth friends want to help us learn this lesson. Wow, these decorations look great. Julie's going to have such a great birthday party. Hey, Mom. Whoa, this is awesome. This is going to be the best birthday ever. Thanks for putting up all the decorations and buying the big Spider-Man cake and getting goodie bags for all my friends. It's going to be so great. I'm so glad your entire class in school is coming to celebrate your sixth birthday with you. Well, um, uh, I don't think everybody in my class is coming. What do you mean you don't think? I thought we talked about that you should invite everybody if you're going to hand out invitations at school. It should either be everybody or nobody. Uh, come on, Mom. I don't want this smelly kid and the quiet girl here. And Mom can't even speak English, so what fun would he be? Well, what's done is done, but I'm really disappointed in you, Billy. I'll get it. Hi, Billy. How's it going? Hey, Jenna. Thanks for coming. This is going to be the best birthday party ever. Um, 
Actually, I can't say. It's not a deli, but we always have dust bunny hunts at my house on Sunday afternoons. I can't miss out on the cleaning fun. You would rather stay home than clean than come to my party? Yeah, sure would. Sorry about that. See you at school tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Gee, thanks for nothing, Jenna. Hello? Welcome to the best birthday party ever. Hi, Billy. Happy birthday, buddy. I just came to tell you that I hope you have an awesome party, but I gotta go. I have to clip my toenails tonight. My mom has the clippers and the nail files and the lotion and everything all ready to go. What? Ew, is this a joke? You're going to go clip your toenails instead of coming to my party? That's crazy. Sorry, Billy. I'm out of here. Catch you later. Oh man. It's just horrible. First Jenna couldn't come, and now Jason isn't staying either. It stinks! My birthday should have started half an hour ago. Nobody's here. But they were my friends. It's not going to be the best birthday party ever. It's going to be the worst! What's the matter, Billy? You are the birthday boy. It's my party, and I'll cry if I want to. Nobody's coming to the party. It's the worst birthday ever. Jason and Jenna were both here, and but they gave me lame excuses and left. And now I won't have a party at all. Everything will be wasted. What are we going to do with the cake and the prizes and the decoration? Well, it would be a shame if it went to waste. I have an idea. I could call your teacher and ask if we could bring the party to your class tomorrow at school in the afternoon. It would be a little late, but better late than never. Now everyone can be included and invited to your birthday party after all. Um, okay, Mom. That would be okay, in fact. That would be great. Thanks, Mom. You're the best. All right. Hold on. There we go. Um, how about that? I have a feeling some of you might uh, understand this one a little bit. Um, so Billy was to have a birthday party. And how do you think he felt when, when his friends sort of made excuses and didn't want to come to his party. Hmm. But I wonder if you noticed at the beginning, Billy's mom told him that he was to invite everyone to his party. Everyone to his party. And Billy didn't do that. And then Billy got really disappointed because the people he did invite made excuses and didn't come to his party. Hmm. What do you, have you ever sometimes maybe not invited everyone, maybe left some people out? Or have you ever been that person that was left out? How how did you feel? How did you feel? So, what does Jesus want us to do? What lesson does Jesus want us to learn from this story that is taken from a story in the Bible? I think Jesus wants us to learn that everybody needs to be included, that all people are welcome, and everybody needs to be included. Is that what you were thinking? I bet my friends out there were thinking that, that... Um, Everybody's invited to learn about Jesus. That's what he wants us to know. Like we used a birthday party in this story, but what Jesus wants us to know is everybody is invited to learn about Jesus and know about Jesus and be like Jesus and spread love like Jesus because Jesus died for all of us so we all could go to heaven. We're all invited. So we need to be like Jesus here on earth. We needed to include and invite everybody. Whatever we might be doing, different events, different things, playing in the neighborhood, playing out at recess at school, choosing teams for games, we just need to think about everybody when we do those things. And we want to learn to be inviting. Um, and so we, that's what Miss Susie included in our packet today, um, was these invitations. So on this side of our invitation is everything that's going to be happening soon here at the church 
for what we call Holy Week. And a Holy Week is the, the week leading up to Easter. And it is the ending of Lent. And so there are a lot of things going on. Some of them fun events and some very serious about what happened that week in Jesus' life. So we have the Easter celebration. Remember Palm Sunday. We're going to do some things with palms. Um, we're going to encourage people to be praying for each other. We're going to have a Monday Thursday service. That's the night. That's the day we look at and we talk about the Last Supper. We'll have a Good Friday service. That's when we. That's when Jesus died. Was on Good Friday. But then we get to celebrate Easter when Jesus rose from the dead. So we want to invite people because we want everybody to know about Jesus and that uh, Jesus loves them very much and was willing to die for them. So Miss Susie included some invitations because they're blank on the other side. So what Miss Susie thought you could do is decorate this. You can write, you can draw, you can do whatever you want. And then I gave you an envelope to put the invitation in an envelope. And you can send this to anyone you want. Anyone you want, because we want to invite. Invite. So Miss Susie has some crayons here. I have my crayons. Some of you probably have markers or colored pencils. You can do whatever. And, um, you know, Miss Susie was just thinking she was going to put like a flower maybe on hers some kind of flower because it reminds me of spring I feel like we're getting ready for spring and we think of flowers as new life around Easter time and so Miss Susie was gonna do so I'm just trying to do a little flower on mine uh, I don't know what you guys might like to do on your invitation this, though, just reminds us how Jesus wants to us to include everybody and invite everybody because everybody is invited to learn about Jesus and to be in God's family. So I'm going to make a little flower and maybe add a few more things and then I'm going to put mine in my envelope and I'm going to send it off and invite someone to be a part of Holy Week at our church where they can learn more about Jesus and we can be welcoming and inviting to them and really be like a good neighbor. So let's get those hands in the air, hands in the air. It's time to say a prayer. Miss Susie will say it and you join me with a big amen. Dear God, we are so grateful for the stories of Jesus. We are so grateful that Jesus died for all of us so we would get to go to heaven. All are invited. All are included. Help us to be more like Jesus and include and invite everyone. We love you, God. And all God's people said together, Amen. All right, friends. I hope you have a great time finishing your invitations and getting them in the mail. Remember to include everyone. Love you.